All right, so I decided to do something different, a little wood project. I ended up getting a couple of AK-47 stocks, and I'm going to try a wood burning technique. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Shoshugiban. I am going to burn these to a crisp, try to get them black, have uh, alligator skin like texture. Um, I'm just going to use a butane torch for now. I'll see if that works. Um, I started off, I'm going to sand these down. There does seem to be some kind of finish on it. So I'm going to remove that finish. I got some applicators, some brushes and some sponges, and I'm going to try to coat it with polyurethane to preserve it. Not sure how this is gonna go. I got two of the stocks, they're only like $10 each. Uh, they're uh, blemish stocks. So see a little marking down there. Um, and there's no holes drilled for the screws either. So we'll see how that goes. How are you guys doing? <laughs> uh, but I'll show you guys how the process goes and we'll see. Nothing's in there for you. And um, I'll show you guys the final project. So I used a old leash and a screw. Just screwed it at the top to hang it because I can't use that butane torch while it's level on the ground. And as you can see, I have a decent pattern going on here some sort some warping I try to leave that as untouched as I could along with the part that actually goes inside the rifle I'm having a good pattern coming out I'm gonna try to get a little bit hotter in this area here see how much more crackling I can get that's my little helper Luna <laughs> All right, so even if I added more heat, not too much more crackling was happening. I got a decent amount already though. It's cooled off now. I'm gonna take it inside. And what I got was the Minwax Fast Drying Polyurethane. It's not a can of food, girl. Um, I'm gonna take it inside, a little bit cleaner environment and um, apply it evenly uh, while it's hanging as so well. So it is a week later and here we go. This is definitely not what I expected. I put about four to five coats of that polyurethane and this wood just kept soaking it up here where I didn't burn it as much. You can see it's a lot smoother here but where it really got hot and crispy, where it started crackling, you really don't have that nice, smooth, glossy finish. It's it's sealed like, I'm not getting black stuff on my hand and you see the light shine on it and reflecting on it a little bit too much actually maybe. But uh, this really isn't what I was expecting. You can't really tell too well. I got some good cracking in some places but it really doesn't pop from a distance at all where I thought it was going to be. So this, yeah, I'm not too thrilled about this. I'm not gonna try this on a, put this on the rifle or anything, but it's my first time and meh, yeah, you know, didn't work out. But I did try something different on the second stop. That too did not turn out how I wanted it, but it turned out a little better. So I think this, this has some potential right here. It's not exactly perfect how I want it, but this definitely has a better look to it. So what I did with this one was, I took some metal wire and I just wrapped it around all of this and it shielded it and I tried to give it some kind of tiger stripes as you can see. So the mistake, still not perfect. And you can see 
the polyurethane took over where it was not, you know, charred and it's a lot shinier there and still a lot drier where it really was scorched. But on this one, what I learned, I needed a lot more wire and I didn't need to burn it as much. So you can see here, there was some wire here, but I held the torch on too long. So it still just went all, the heat went around the wire, still charred the wood. You can see where it could, should have some stuff. But here you got a full line here and it did much better on the other side. I like how this one turned out. I might try to see how it looks on the rifle. But you have a very nice tiger kind of stripe print going. And I like the little highlights of the lighter wood. But it turned out, this one definitely turned out better than the other one. You still have some crackle in here, the alligator skin pattern in between. Um, this one definitely turned out better. I have a B5, BCM gunfighter stock on it now. I might try this one out. I still probably should get something to polish it. I think this one can be, you know, turned to something special or just buy another stock. I use a lot more wire, really focus the heat, not try to get too hot everywhere. Because if this side looks like this side, I think it'll be a lot better. I really messed it up overdoing it in these places right here. But this is the first time I've ever done anything with wood. I'm not even sure if this is a proper kind to do it with. Just experimenting. Now I know not much wasted. I ended up spending like $30 ship for two stocks. And just some more knowledge for my personal use later on down the road. But we'll see if I ever decide to try this again. I'm gonna keep this one for now. I still got to find um, a butt pad and a sling plate for it. But, you know, you don't know until you try. Now I know. And I'm definitely going to go down this path rather than just having this black bleh stock right here. Something to give it a little bit more character, accent, and depth to it. But I appreciate you guys watching.